afternoon all. Now this is a little sealed lead acid battery which came out of one of those cheap car jump starter sets and um, I found it in the street and the first thing you notice is it's very light and I know these batteries are utter rubbish because uh, Ain't Big Ain't Clever did a kind of review on these and he took them apart and found that there's just very little lead in them. I'll put a link to his um, video because it's very interesting, it's worth a watch. But um, I've just, I was going to use this in a, a, a solar light that I want to build, a high power garden solar light, but I've just discovered that um, it's measuring almost zero volts. So as it stands at the moment it's measuring half a volt across the battery. Let's see what happens when I put a solar panel on it to try and charge it up. So that's gone to 21.8 volts, which is pretty much what the open circuit voltage of that solar panel is going to be. So this battery appears to be, well, high resistance. I don't think that's going to charge. It certainly wouldn't sustain a high current. So it'd be pretty useless for starting a car, which is obviously why the thing was out in the street and had been thrown away effectively. Um, but there's something else that's weird about this uh, thing probably because it was in the street for some time. When I shake it, it sounds like it's full of, well, water or acid. Uh, who knows? Now if I tip it upside down, liquid drips out. Now I don't have any litmus paper unfortunately, so uh, I can't really tell if that's water or acid. Or can I? So what I've got here are some Tums, which are indigestion tablets, uh, calcium carbonate, their alkali, and some Jif lemon, which is uh, acid, citric acid. So uh, let's try a little experiment. So here's a couple of Tums. Uh, now the one on the left is sitting in some of that liquid, which is either water or battery acid. Shouldn't be battery acid because this is a gel battery and shouldn't have any liquid in it. Um, now the other Tums, I've just put a bit of the Jif uh, lemon on it and you can see, I hope, quite clearly that that is producing carbon dioxide. So we've got a reaction between the calcium carbonate and the citric acid in the lemon juice and that's producing gas. But this one, it really isn't. I'll try and get some acid on top of it. So I said acid, of course, I don't think it is acid because there's no apparent reaction taking place there. I mean, the tablet is starting to disintegrate, but it's not fizzing, there's no gas. Whereas this one over here is definitely producing bubbles of gas. And that leads me to believe that this is not battery acid, and it shouldn't be battery acid. It's just rainwater that got into this thing through that little vent hole there while it was lying in the street. Now to test this, I'm actually going to taste this liquid. I'm going to put it on my finger. Now I'm not going to taste too much of it, so I'll wipe most of it off. And I'm going to taste that now. Yep. That's not battery acid. That's water. So uh, that's the that's the answer. Rainwater got into this battery. It is a gel battery. Um, it's just water in there. Can't taste anything. So that's not acid. And the uh, calcium carbonate test has proved that. Now I've had the solar panel uh, connected to this for a few moments. Let's just remove that. Twenty one point eight volts. So it's kind of 5 volts, but it's not really holding that. I don't know. I wonder whether charging it's worth attempting to charge this battery. What concerns me is this very, this very low apparent resistance of the battery. Um, because when you put the solar panel on, it goes straight up to 21 volts. So uh, I don't know. I mean, just as an experiment, it might be worth leaving it on there for a while. Perhaps I will. And I should probably add a little disclaimer. Uh, don't put unknown liquids in your mouth, even if they uh, appear not to be acid, 
and certainly that one uh, is not acid. Uh, don't do this at home, folks. Not very sensible, really.